So let's move from US economy to Indian economy now. Sure. So what's your take on what's happening in Indian economy? I'm seeing um, India's economy is headed for a terrible crisis. You know, um, I, I was very optimistic when Prime Minister Modi came into office back in 2014. Mm -hmm. In fact, I myself went to India, to Mumbai. I gave a presentation in Modi's think tank about some ideas that I had for the technology and future. Mm -hmm. um, Although my ideas were not endorsed, I did not feel uh, so much bad. But the policies that happened later, whether it's come to the Make in India policy of giving huge tax cuts to the foreign investors to come to the India, or the demonetization that took place, all these things, and now even they are going for protectionism now. Uh, so, so what I'm seeing is that uh, all this uh, lowering the repo rates and everything, it's created a bubble in the Indian economy as well. You know, And uh, this bubble is going to burst, and it's got a very, very bad thing for India when the poverty is already high in the country. Uh, we have the uh, 35, the youngest, um, Prime Minister Modi himself said the India is a nation, youngest nation with 35 years old. And if you are not creating a bright future for these 35 year olds, you know, you have a very, very bad crisis coming up. So uh, in the short term, I'm seeing India having a very, very bad uh, crisis. But in the long run, when I'm seeing when a 2019 election comes, India could have a revolutionary election where even the supporters of people may not even support BJP or Congress, they might just have someone else now come up, you know, finally. And I'm, I'm trying to promote my book as well, Mass Capitalism. I'm going to release in Mumbai, in Marathi. I'm trying to promote that before the 2019 election. Hopefully, the ideas get endorsed. And I hope that India has a very bright future from 2019 onwards.